recording for creating a PO in NetSuite. First step is to find your project in the project records and select your project and go view your project. Scroll down to the bottom of your project records, find your estimate. Down in the tab, you will select the estimate tab. And you will select the budget for your project. This will bring up your budget for your entire project. You will select the line item that you want to create your PO for. For this example, we will select AC equipment. Hovering over your AC equipment line, you would right click and select the create order. This will bring up the vendor selection tab. If you don't see the vendor that you, you need to create the PO for down here in the vendor list, you can add a vendor by clicking down the vendor tab and then clicking on list and then searching for the vendor that you want to select. For this exercise, we will select green tech. By selecting this, you will tell the PO creation that it needs to create a PO for green tech. This will prompt the PO creation. Here's your create P purchase order uh, screen. The first thing you want to select is fix cog. At the time of this recording, the contact person address, delivery date, and additional message to vendor does not pull into your PO, so ignore those for now. Again, repeating, you, you will select the correct category. And then scroll down. Here is the list of preempted uh, list of items. You will need to select the AC equipment item. Here you can adjust your quantity based on the quote that you got and the supply rate, and this will garnish your total. For this exercise, we will leave this as it is. If you need to add a line item onto your PO that is not on this list, you may go to additional items. Click on the pull down menu, select the correct material type or material code. Add in a description of what you want to add. Quantity, rate, and the total amount will auto generate. You can then click add and that will add a, a line, an additional line to the selected item. Going back to the item tab, since we selected this line item with that quantity, this is all you need to select on your PO creator tab. Go ahead and click on create. Now your PO will be generated and you will see a PO number at the top left corner. Right here. This is your PO number, your supplier, and now a PO. You need to, at the time of the recording, do one more edit to your PO before you can finalize it. Go ahead and click edit. This will allow you to edit some of the lines in the PO itself. The first thing we want to select is the location. You will select Nugen Energy Headquarters if you are based out of Rockland. Anywhere else, you will need to select remote. Since we are based out of Rockland, we will click the 
new gen energy headquarter. We will add in any memo that we we wish to show up on the PO and this recording we will just select call ping tau for delivery. We will put in a delivery date that we want the material to deliver on. We'll select May 30th for this uh, recording. The next and final step for this is we need to go and select a ship to address. The default ship to address at the time of recording is New Gen headquarters. But we want to change that. To change it, we need to go down to this ship to. Hold on menu, go to list. And search in our project. So we will select Kalinga 4 project. At the moment, there is no address in the project record, but when the PM updates this, this will reflect the address the PM entered into his project records. Once this is done, you're good to go and press save. Now your PO is saved and ready for your supervisor to approve. The supervisor once approved, this checkbox over here will be checked. To preview your PO, go ahead and click on the little print button up here. This will be a print preview. It will open another tab to show you your PO. If, the, if your PO looks good, go ahead and download it and save it into your folders and send out the email to your supplier. If it's not the way you want it, you can always close and then edit any detail you want in your PO.